Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green, the evening edition. Okay, you guys, we are going to get started straight away. Um, so here we go. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody joining me here today. Um, this evening, this Wednesday evening, if you are watching live and you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Mm -hmm. You can call in and ask a question about life, love, career, relationship or connect with a loved one on the other side. If you are on YouTube watching, you can post a question in the chat uh, with the rest of us who are already in the chat talking. And um, Kate asked, what is her song for the day? And Kate, your song is, um, give me a second here, because I write as the show went to start, I realized I didn't have a beverage with me and I ran to get a beverage and unplugged the computer and it was a whole thing with 15 seconds left until the show started. So there's that. Um, and then jumped back on and yeah, it was a, it was a whole thing trying to plug in the computer. And then I realized the beverage I thought I had ready, the water I thought I had ready empty <laughs> all of that and it's empty I, I need I need a man boy here to go get me some water or a, a whatever uh, I need somebody to get me some water <laughs> anyway uh, I think I'm funny don't 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 laugh at my bad humor because <laughs> it will make me uh, tell more inappropriate bad sad jokes okay if you um okay again if you would like to call in the number is 845-277-9131 if you are uh, in the chat you can ask questions in the chat couple quick things i will never ever reach out to you i only have one youtube page if you see any of my content on any other page that is not mine please report them and then uh, let me know and I will never reach out to you and ask you if you want a healing or a clearing or I need a cash. I don't even have a cash app. I don't. I don't have any of that stuff. So don't be tricked, fooled, scammed, ripped off. None of it. Don't just don't do it. Don't don't nope 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 nope. Um, okay, I for those of you who are new to the show, I start with names. Uh, and then songs, and then a little bit of channeling, and then go into ask, answering questions. The names could be your name or the name of a person on the other side that is saying, hey. Oh, so we're going to start with names. And the first name I'm hearing is Jerome. And then the next name I'm hearing is Ly Lila. I think I heard this on Monday show, too. I can't remember if Lila was on Monday show. And then, then Rebecca. Erica, wow, they're coming in fast tonight. Um, again, Lila, Lila, we've got you. We got you, Lila. Once, once is enough. Let everybody else have a turn. Um, the name Melissa M Maribel. Um, Dawn. Now, this could be your name there. It could be the name of a loved one on the other side. Or again, it could be your name, a loved one reaching out and letting you know by saying your name. And then I'm only going to do two more names and the name David and then the name uh, Greg or Gregory is coming through. Okay, now I'm going to do songs. The songs could be a song they loved, a song you loved, uh, or something that you listen to together. And the song could also be the answer to a question or a situation that you are going through. And the first song is that song, uh, well, I went so far, I and something, something, and in the end, it didn't even matter. 
Um, and I do know that song, but for some reason, I can't think of all the words right now. I used to sing that. I used to say that statement. I used to say that song as a statement to a friend. So it's ironic that it's come. I came so far and then not. And in the end, it didn't even and tried so hard. And in the end, it didn't even matter. Um, ironic that I'm hearing that as a song for tonight's show. The next uh, song that I'm hearing is, um, <laughs> Jesus, I can't make this poop up. Jingle Bells. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> it's the Jingle Bell Rock one. Um, so there's that. Um, the next uh, song I'm hearing is um, that song, Rock Around the Clock. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, and then jazz, any jazz. And then um, that country song, I'm going to need some whiskey glasses to see me through. Yeah, that is not a good country twang. Twang. I don't listen. I can't sing pop, rock, country. I, I just, I can't, but here we are, right? Here we are. Um, and then Miss. I can't even get it out. Missy Elliott. I don't, I don't think I know any of her songs, but Missy Elliott, Missy, whatever, Missy, if somebody knows a Missy Elliott song, could you please put it in the chat for me? Just so I can have a, I know if I heard the song, I would know the song, but off the top of my head, I'm not going to go, oh, blah, blah, blah by Missy Elliott. Not happening. Not happening. I can't even tell you who sings Whiskey Glasses or um, any of the songs that I have announced so far tonight. Okay, we're going to go into a really quick channeling. Um, I feel like tonight's channeling is going to be a little bit shorter. This is where the angels come in and speak directly to you through me to give you a message about life, love, or whatever it is that's going on in your life right now. <clears throat> now is the time for you to take control of your life. You have but one life, and now is the time for you to take back control of it. It is time for you to decide where you want to be, where you want to go, and what you want to do. Do not let the forces, words, or actions of others prohibit your progress through your life. You get but one time in this physical element that you are currently in. Make the most of this one time. Make sure that you are living, that you are having the best possible experience for yourself. Make sure that everything you are doing and the people that you are around are enlightening you, bringing light to you, making your light shine brighter as you make their light shine brighter. If you are around people, places, or things, that dim down your light, please, by all means, excuse yourself pleasantly from them and move into environments where you are enlightened. Even if it means you must spend some time alone, even if it means you must become the hermit or by yourself, do not be afraid to be by yourself. That does not mean you are not loved. That means you are being prepared. You are being brought to the right spaces, the right tables, the right buildings, the right people. You cannot hang out with the lower levels and expect to have a higher level experience. You must, by all means, excuse yourself and remove yourself from inappropriate or lower experiences. And we do not mean better than, worse than. We just mean not enlightened, not having those enlightened experiences. Remove yourself from that and take yourself to a space where you are alone until you get back to your base. And then once you are at your base, once you are enlightened within you, you will start to bring all of those that are enlightened around you. Being in solitude, being by yourself for minutes, hours, days, weeks, 
months if necessary, is where true enlightenment and connection comes from. We are not saying that this should be your goal. We are saying that if this is happening, do not look upon it as a downtrodden experience. It is an uplifting experience. We will put you in solitude if we feel like you need to realign yourself with your highness, with that that is above you. That means you have gone too far down and we must pull you back up again. Embrace where you are while moving upward. Okay. I really like that message. I'm going to re-listen to that. Yay, everybody. Yay. Okay. So that is channeling. Um, all of the messages... Um, all of the messages that will be coming through today are either from loved ones and or your angels and or your guides. I am not the boss of anybody. I am not here to tell anybody what to do with their life, even if it sounds like an order when it's coming out of my mouth. It is not an order. I am not telling you what to do with your life, <laughs> although I really wish I could. But I can't run my own life, so I'm not going to try to run your life. Oh, I just felt, oh my gosh, you guys. I just felt this really cool breeze run across my lap and my hand. Oh, I feel dead, people. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also feel angels. <laughs> And, and a deep yearning to be loved. But hey, here we go again. Oh gosh, I need to start taking callers just to stop this. Just to this. Just to this. Okay. I want to say hi to Scott at WSCS. And thank you, Scott, for all the hard work you do to make sure that my shows get up on WSCS and on the um on all of the channels, your streaming channels and on your YouTube channels. I want to thank Rudy from Rude Rangers TV for streaming um, all of my shows, all the work you do to make sure my shows get out to all the streaming channels and the radio stations and the podcasts that you put it out on. Thank you so much, you guys, for everything that you do. So I want to also welcome some new people to the show. Um, I see, well, some newbies and some. Um, people who are always here. So Terry's here, Heather's here, Genevieve's here, Rebecca, Erin. Hey, Erin. Kate, Elizabeth, Lolly. Hey, Lolly Vaughn, Jessica, or Jay Francis, and Genevieve. I know there are other people, but there's, they're, they're further up. Let me see. Maybe that is everybody. I think that's everybody. I'm sorry if I miss somebody. If I miss somebody, just put it in the chat and I'll get to you. Again, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Once you call in, hit that one. I'm going to start taking callers. In between callers, I'm going to be answering questions in the YouTube chat. So I'm going to try to get to everybody. Caroline's here also. Caroline, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I missed you. Here we go. 954, um, where are you from? And what's your name? I I hear sorry. My name is Sharon and I'm from New York. Hey Sharon, how can I help you today? Okay, I was just wondering if you see me um entering another job or maybe retiring and then going into another field. Right now I'm working part time, but I just wanna, you know, go into something else. So do you see that? Yeah. Kind of thing happening soon or? Um, yeah, Sharon. And I'm hearing that it's coming sooner than you think. There's something coming in like you're on the cusp or the heels of it. And Sharon, the other thing I'm hearing, and I just, I believe in this so much for everybody. I believe everybody should be a bit of an entrepreneur um, in whatever way that that works for them. So Sharon, I feel like you are going to go into another position, but I also feel like you're going to be doing some kind of passion project on the side for yourself and kind of, I hear for yourself and by yourself. So this might be something that you start on the side that's going to allow you to just be, be your own boss. It's not going to be full time in this path passion project could be it's very entrepreneurial 
and it is it's something that you've been wanting to do for a while, whatever that is, whether it's writing a screenplay or doing some, creating something, whatever it is, Sharon, that's coming in now. Now is the time for you to start, complete, do whatever you need to do with that. But also on the other side of it, there is a new work venture or opportunity coming in within a month, which means that by the end of August, you should at the very least know about this. Now you are going to have to pursue it. It's not something that's going to land in your lap. You're going to have to have your peepers, um, peepers looking out for it. You're going to have to really be uh, uh, open and looking for whatever this new opportunity is. And I feel like whatever the opportunity is, is going to really inspire your entrepreneurial side too. So they kind of go hand in hand, Sharon. So I want you to pay attention to that and look for it and be ready for it. Okay, love? Okay. Well, that sounds great. Well, thank you so much. I, I certainly appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. And whatever that passion project is, whatever you've been thinking about or kind of had, you know, in the back of your mind, ah, I'd kind of like to do this, start it and start it soon. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. I will, will do. <laughs> thank you. so. Thank you so much. I appreciate oh, my it. goodness. Thank you. thank you so much for calling in. And I hope it was helpful. Um, I'm going to go directly to the first question that I can find on the chat. So if you asked a question before I, before, before I get to you, um, please, I'm going to go back to, do, 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 okay, um, I'm going to answer, uh, this is from Erin. Hi, Tony. What do you see regarding my love life? Okay, Erin. Um, the first thing I hear is it's it's kind of stagnant. I don't know if you're with somebody right now. I get a no, not really. But I hear it's stagnant. I do feel, Erin, if your, your love life is going to be rejuvenated mid-August, right around the 18th. So whatever's going on in your love life, there's the possibility or the potential for rejuvenation around the 18th. Whether that means you and, you know, the, if you're with somebody being rejuvenated or somebody new coming in, it's going to, it has the potential to happen around the 18th. And Erin, this is kind of crazy to me, but I see like a softball game. I feel like this is maybe you go to somebody's softball game, not like a professional baseball game, but like a, like a kid's game or a whatever game. And you have the potential to meet somebody there. Or that's just something you need to do because they're showing it to me, the softball game. So I think uh, that those could be two different messages. Or it could be the same message. Either way, partake in both. And around the 18th, everything in your love life should rejuvenate and doors should be opening again. And I always say go slow when you're first meeting someone um, just because it, it's always better if you take your time in the beginning so you really get to know who this person is before you let your emotions take over and then you don't see things that you wish you would have seen in the beginning of the relationship, okay? I'm going to go to the next caller. When I say your area code, please say your name and your where you're calling from and then have one solid question about life, love, career, finances, available or if you want to connect with somebody on the other side please let me know who you'd like to connect with on the other side 805 805 what's your name and where are you calling from oh tony hi it's your regular donna in california how are you i'm good donna it's been a minute how are you yeah i'm good everything worked out with my housing and everything and um yeah, it's good, and my brother uh, treats 
uh, treated me to four nights in Cabo San Lucas with an oceanfront view room. Oh my and goodness! And paid for everything: the airfare, the room, everything. So that's nice of him. That is amazing. That's such a kind, sweet, sweet thing to do. That's so yeah. amazing. Uh, everybody wants your brother. Younger. Everybody wants your brother to be their brother right now. I'm just saying. Everybody's like, I want a brother like that. <laughs> so that'll be nice. And then I'm going to a wedding in Idaho in October. So I've got things planned. Nice. Um, you know, I was at the beach and I had that epiphany. I don't know if I told you where um, I felt like the whole world opened up to me. And it wasn't because there were clouds opening and closing. There wasn't such a thing. But I felt it in every cell of my body. And so I'm expecting something life changing coming in because of that feeling that I had. Do you have any idea what that is? Maybe more money or a partner or travel or I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm traveling, you know, cause I'm going to Idaho and uh, Mexico. Okay. I'm going to tell you, I feel like in October, something's going to completely open up for you. And I don't know what this means, but the floodgates will be taken down and all of this stuff will come in. Now, that can be one. They're not going to tell me what it is, okay? They're really yeah. not going to tell me yeah. what it is. But I am going to say this to you, Donna, and because they're channeling it, and it's a message for me, you, and everybody listening. When we are continually asking for finances, we're putting, whether we're in a place of lack or not, we're putting ourselves in a place of lack. And when we're asking instead of proclaiming, this is just what I'm hearing right now, when we're asking, then we are saying we don't have. When we're proclaiming more of what we already have, that's like that's yeah. how we're supposed to do it. Not like, uh, is money coming to me means it's always going to be coming but I have this and it's multiplying every day. Do you feel the difference in that statement? So everybody listening, everybody watching say, is money coming to me and feel yeah. even my heart pounds a little bit. And then when we say the money I have is multiplying every day, it like opens in the space of a triangle, like to the sky for me and like opens all of that up. Like as, is love coming to me feels like a shutdown. Like I'm asking, am I going to get it? And then it's always coming to me, but never arriving. Where when I say the love I have in my life is multiplying every day. The men I have in my life are multiplying every day. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, it's luck. I got 15000 in a raffle. So, I mean, things have changed. All of a sudden, all this stuff is coming in for me. Well, I see. It's it's all the and then it, and then make the statement. Um, what I have is multiplying and I'm going to do a clearing for you and everybody listening and everybody Wonderful. watching that um, and yeah. the clearings are basically your angels coming in and healing anything stopping or blocking what we have from multiplying so everything we have as far as love and money is now multiplying every single day i get a no we're going to heal clear and release that if you guys are feeling this please let me know let me know um, anything stopping or blocking this or all that has caused and kept this has healed. I'm getting a no right away. So we're going to clear, heal and release all that caused this, all that kept it. Anything stopping or blocking it from going is going to be released. Now, who we Chuchi? that is um, really coming from that heart space and that throat space for me. You guys let me know where you're feeling it and where you're it's releasing from you. Oh, and we think like, you know, those of you who know about chakras, we always think, oh, it's my, it's my base chakra. It's my this chakra. It's always the heart. Everything is always love. The amount of love you have for yourself is the amount you allow yourself. The amount of love and respect 
and the amount to the to the degree that you believe you deserve is to the degree that you will receive. And I will tell you this and make no mistake. You can, I'm going to tell everybody their exact comfort level with finances right now and love. I'm going to do it in two different examples. Pay attention. And you might not like me after this, but you're going to love me because I'm going to also tell you how to fix this. So the, your comfort level with money is your, what you have in the bank most often. The amount, so you might win $15,000 like Donna did, and then in a very short period of time, it will go back down to this amount. And that is your comfort zone with money, okay? And how do you fix that? Once you get to that comfort zone with money, open another account and then let that account get to that comfort zone and then another account and let that account get to that comfort zone. Most people, your comfort zone, where you, the amount you're comfortable with is the amount you will end up at. That's why when you're picking a partner, you had better pick a partner that has a very high comfort zone with money. And that, yeah. that is so important. And people don't realize if your partner, even if you're not living together and they're always running at, you know, big amounts coming in, but big amounts going out and always their, their bank statement always has this amount in it. That is their comfort zone until they get out of that comfort zone. And they're in the comfort zone of having savings of this, this, and this amount. You may end up, if they're the stronger partner, you may end up at their financial comfort zone. Now with love, let me tell you about love. When you grew up, you had a certain amount of love that was shown to you or given to you. And that's probably your comfort zone in love. And you think that's what's normal. Yeah. Now, if somebody comes in and they try to really love on you, you're going to think, what is wrong with this person? This person is just way yeah. too whatever title you want to give that person. And the truth of the matter is their comfort zone with love is completely different than your comfort zone with love. And you need to get into that comfort zone where love is just way up there, way up there. Like you're comfortable receiving all amounts of love in all of the different love languages. And otherwise you'll keep attracting people that will show you how much you don't love yourself and in what areas or beliefs that you have a lack of love. And when you see that, heal it, fix it, address it. Don't blame them. Don't blame them. Fix it and then say next. Show me what I need to work on next or get me to that point where I can receive and accept that unconditional love from everyone comfortably. Okay, Donna, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful we were able to connect. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. appreciate it. You are so, like and re that. remember, October is going to be a big month for you. Okay, sweet girl. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks. You, you are so welcome. Right. You are so, so welcome. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Don't forget to push the one and then your hand will go up and I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, I'm going to go to the next question who I believe is from Elizabeth. Hi, hope your week has been amazing. It has been, thank you. Um, any messages about my career? Am I living my life purpose? Not yet, Elizabeth, but you will be soon. You're very close. Elizabeth, pop in the chat what you're doing now and I will tell you, or what you're thinking about doing, I think you're very close to your life purpose. And remember, we can have many life purposes. So you, like I was in fitness, I was in modeling, and I'm in this. So all of those, I was in promoting and marketing, all of those were life purposes at the time. And sometimes we're, we might be on the 
fringe or the binge of a new life purpose coming in also. And I feel like Elizabeth, whatever is next for you is going to uh, connect what you're doing now and what it is, they're going to connect. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to see Elizabeth put that in the chat for me and I will. Um, she's a nurse, but I don't want to be a nurse. Then no, it is not. See, I was right. I was right. <laughs> not your life purpose if you don't want to do it. I want to travel, own a business um, so I can be free. We all want to be free. I think that if the past three years have shown us anything for some of us, it's how free we want to be and how much we miss our freedom. Elizabeth, here's what I'm going to say. Um, Elizabeth, there's a couple of things I'm getting in for you. And one of them is that you could be a training, like you could travel and train people. And you might be able to do that with your nursing degree. And I don't know to what extent, but I do know that <clears throat> I'm hearing if you really want to travel, you can travel and train people. And it will be part of your nursing thing. And some hospitals even have traveling nurses that travel not only through your area, but even like Doctors Without Borders need nurses that travel with them. And yes, they do get paid for that. Everybody gets paid for that in that situation. Okay. Just so you know. Um, Hey, Cheryl is on. Oh my goodness. Hey, Cheryl. I am so happy to see you on here. Thank you. Angelica is on. Um, D. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. S I H L E. I feel like I'm adding a letter or S H L Schley. Sibia. CB, I don't know what to call you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for not being able to pronounce that or get that right. There's a light right in my eyes. So when I go from looking to looking here, it's like <laughs> craziness. I'm just telling you craziness trying to. I'm just going to call you Sibia. Sibia, welcome to the show. Um, Patrick, hey, Patrick. Um, Michael. Hey, Michael. So happy to see everybody on. Okay. And the other thing I'm getting for you, Elizabeth, is consider going to nursing and aesthetics. I feel like you will need some training for that. But if you go into aesthetics, you'll also have the freedom. It's not like a regular nursing job where you have to be there 24 seven, but you can get um, you get paid better and you have more freedom and uh, they need nurses to do all those injections and face procedures. So that might be an option for you also, Elizabeth. I'm going to go to the next caller, 347. And yes, I am going back and forth between the chat and the, the calls. So please be patient, everybody. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Malvina and I'm calling from New York. How can I help you, beautiful? I'd like to connect with my grandpa. And his first name was? Uh, his name was Alex. Alex. Okay. I need to ask you, who's Joe? Because as soon as I said, and his name was, I heard Joe. So is this somebody who's on the other side with him or somebody who's here with you? Uh, I, I don't know any Joe. Okay. That's okay. That might be for somebody else, but right now I'm going to connect with your grandpa and I am going to, do you have a specific question for your grandpa? Uh, if, not, if he has any messages for me. Yeah, he does. The first thing that he would want to say to you is, um, I'm asking him to restate what he's saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, sweetie, I'm going to ask you a question before I give you this message. Is there something you've been questioning in your life? Like, am I going in the right direction? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Or is this the relationship? Because all he keeps saying is tell her she's going in the wrong direction. And I just am like, really? So please tell me, is there something in your life you've been trying to figure out or trying to think, should I change this? Um, I'm, I always think of what's next. What should I strive for next? That's always been my mentality. Okay. So if I'm getting this correctly, and I really, really hope I am, the biggest thing that he would say right now to you is he, and again, now he's saying it, but he's saying it in a different way. And what he's saying is change direction. Meaning if you are headed, if if you're what's next, if you've already decided, if you're saying what's next and you decided on something, he's saying, no, 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 no. There's something better. There's something else. Go in that direction. But I'm going to tell you, if you're in something right now, um, it's time for you to change direction and go into something new. He is really saying that it's just time for you to look at the direction okay. you're going in and possibly look at doing something different or in a different way than what you're doing it right now. And that's the message I'm getting for, for, for you from him. And I hope that makes sense to you. Um, if you are trying to figure out what your next step is, he's asking you to do it sooner rather than later. And if you are, let's just say this is about, for example, not exact, if this is about work, start looking at other opportunities that would be available to you and where you can plant new seeds or something along that line. And I know this might not make sense to you right now, but it will make sense to you within the next week to a month. Okay. I, I know that right. we, some, thank you so much. You you are so welcome. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use this opportunity to say sometimes people call in and I give them a message that seems so far from where they like I have no idea what that's about. Well, sometimes that's the message. It's a prediction, it's something coming in and it's preparing you to know what's coming in next so you can make that solid move. And um, I want to say he's saying one more thing. Don't be afraid to make okay. the move. Whatever that move is, don't be afraid to make it. Okay. It's really easy to say, what if it's worse? What if it's less? What? But what if it's more? What if it's better? And that's right. the message your grandpa wants to bring to you. Okay, love? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. And if, when this all comes to fruition, please don't hesitate to give a call back and join in again. Okay. Definitely. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Okay. I'm going to just take one quick, I'm still answering questions of people calling in 631. You're going to be next on the call line. Um, but I have a question on the chat I'm going to answer first. And I want you to know I do private sessions and my private sessions are extremely reasonable. Uh, you can find out everything about my private sessions at T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, Tony G dot info. And I go live every Monday at noon. And I'm going to start going live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Because I want to be able to hit the people who work, you know, during the Day, I want to be able to get them at night and the people who work at night, I want to be able to get them during the day. I want to like be able to reach everybody at different times. Um, if you do want to call into the show, the number is 845-277-9131. And I'm going to go to the next question online. Um, and the next question, and I'm sorry if I missed your question, please don't be afraid to repost it. Um, I'm going to go to the next uh, person and the timeline keeps uh, 
jumping down. So please, if I didn't get your question, please don't be upset with me because the, the conversation keeps going up in the chat and I'm, I am missing questions. And yes, Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you everybody who has liked the show and subscribed. Um, Angelica, how do you, oh, how do you do the thumbs up? There's a little thumb up button and you just push that. I didn't know that was going to be her question, everybody. Sorry. Um, let me go back a little bit um, to Elizabeth. No, I did Elizabeth. Uh, I'm looking for the next question. Uh, Sibia, new here, do you donations? You can just ask a question and I will answer that for you, love. Um, in my bio, there's a box if you really want to donate, but you don't have to donate to ask a question. You can just ask a question. Um, Angelica wants to know, when do you see me becoming a mom? A year, a year from now. Um, I don't know if you're going to get pregnant within the year and have the baby at a year's time or in a year from now, you're going to get pregnant. But in a year, you're going to be a mom. And that's what they're saying right now. You won't need, as far as what I'm hearing right now, you won't need to do in vitro. You just have to, um, oh gosh, I'm happy you're not in front of me. Um, timing is everything. Uh, what I'm hearing is timing is everything. So just relax and allow the timing. Remember, just like we have our astrological sign and we were born at the day and time we were supposed to, there's an entrance time and an exit time for everyone. So your baby or babies have to come in at their entrance time to be the people that they're supposed to be and connect with all the people they're supposed to connect with. So just, you know, allow. Um, and Angelica, don't be afraid. They are showing me, I think you're going to get pregnant naturally because they are showing me something pretty graphic. I don't need to see all that, folks. I do not need to see somebody holding her ankles up in the air. You could just say it's going to happen naturally. <laughs> I'm sorry, Angelica, to put all your business out on the world like that but that's what they are showing me so let it happen <clears throat> let it happen naturally beautiful girl i am now going to 631 to try to recover myself 631 what's your name and where are you calling from hi suzanne long island and what do you see with my love life okay suzanne are you with somebody right now are you in a relationship no. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Sometimes the energy, it's just faster if I ask the question and get right into what you want. Um, Suzanne, you are going to meet somebody late September, October, late September, early, early October, and then again in November. Now, this can mean one of two things. The person you meet in September, October um, might be the first person you meet and the person in November is is the next person you meet or they could be the same person. Let me ask, are they the same person? Yep. Okay, if you meet somebody late September, early October and there's a bit of time before you can see that person again, don't get discouraged. They just might, like sometimes we meet somebody and it's not the best timing. Um, but this person is going to end up being serious about you. That doesn't mean sit and wait. Um, still live your life, go out, have fun. You are going to meet this person organically. You are going to meet this person at an event. If you go, if you don't go, don't come back and yell at me because like I didn't make you stay in your house and say no. Okay. Okay. Um, you're going to meet this person at some sort of an event. Now I'm going to say this. I know there's a lot of new people that are always listening to my show. Sometimes an event is going to lunch with your coworkers. Sometimes an event is going to dinner with a family member. 
It doesn't have to be some big hundred person event. It can be like, hey, listen, going to lunch can be an event or going to a movie can be an event. Um, I am going to tell you, you do need to get out a little bit more. I do feel like, um, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong about this, um, or if this is so far off of your purview, I don't know what the word purview means, but they made me use it. So here we are uh, showing how uneducated I am again. Thank you, Spirit. I see volleyball. I see volleyball. Now, I know there are volleyball leagues or you can go out and have a volleyball like game with friends sometimes. And bars have a lot of volleyball leagues, but I always tell people don't meet people at bars unless you're a bar person. But here's what I'm going to say. If you go watch volleyball and it can be a, a, a an event that maybe somebody you know is in, like my nieces used to play volleyball, or you decide to join a league, or you're just watching a league, whatever it is, um, that might have something to do with it. OK, having said that, I'm going to leave that at that because I don't like to give too many specific details just in case that doesn't go through. And then it happens another way because that didn't go through. But I am going to tell you they're showing me the volleyball again. Whether you play or you watch, it doesn't matter. And that doesn't mean you're going to meet this person at a volleyball game. It just means get out and maybe join a league. I don't know. Not telling you what to do with your life. I can't play sports where a ball might fly at my face because all I do is take both my hands and cover my head to protect me. I go into straight up fetal position like nothing can fly at me and I think that it's a fun sport. If I'm playing volleyball, it's with a beach ball, folks. That's just me personally. But hey, if you like smacking the heck out of a ball, that might be the sport for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> September, late September, October, and then again, November. Um, no online dating. You're not going to meet that. You're going to meet this person organically. You're going to meet them through either an event, and it could be this, or it could be something else. So please, please be open to any and or all of the above. Okay. Uh, I hope that was helpful for you. It was. I'm moving to Florida in two weeks. Yes. Okay. Get on the beach and play some volleyball. And I do feel like whomever this person is, they're going to come in. They are a little bit athletic. They are a little bit athletic. As soon as you get in and you get um, acclimated, I feel like you're going to meet this person. Now, if you don't want to join like a team sport, at least go watch some team sports like that. Okay, love? All right. Thank you. You are so welcome. And it, it is important. I'm going to say it's very important if you are looking for somebody Get out and about. Do your due diligence unless you want the pizza delivery guy or the local break-in and entering guy or the cop that answers the B&E call. Get out of your house and meet somebody. Like, seriously, though. Okay, 770, hold up. You are next. But first, I'm going to see if I can find a question. I can easily um, find a question online to answer. I, oh, my gosh. I just scrolled down. Um, and there are so many people. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, I'm going to be on tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Time with Marla Martinson. And Marla and I will both be answering questions. Marla's the mystical matchmaker. And um, she is very intuitive also, and we will be answering questions to get to together. So if I don't get to you today, I apologize. And I have to keep my show within that 60 minute mark because it does air on TV. So it goes 30 or 60 minute se segments. So at that 60 minute mark, I kind of do have to cut off, but I'm going to try to get to as many people, which means I need to stop talking now and answer questions. Um 
Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, uh, la, la, la. Hey, Mimi, how are you? Cheryl, is there a significance in the number 901? For you, yes. 901, I don't, it is the time when somebody visits you and it's an elderly man, like a grandfather. It could be your father or grandfather. And that is the time they visit you every day, twice a day, every day, 901. Cheryl, I hope that was helpful. Hi, Caroline. I'm going to get, I'm going to try to get to your uh, question next. I'm going to go to, was 770 next, everybody? I'm going to say yes. 770, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Maddie. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Maddie. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Great. Fantastic. Um, my question is, you mentioned uh, being at your um, comfort zone with money. Yeah. And my thought was, okay, this was a good question to ask her. My bank, one of the banks that I have a uh, an account with, um, they offered me a bonus if I deposit a certain amount of money and uh, I have to leave that money in for three months, then they would put the bonus. Um, they, would, they, will, they would give me the bonus. And so do you think that would be um, worth trying to gain I from hear, the bank? Okay, I hear yes, as long as you know you're not going to need that money during the three months. As long as you can sustain without that money, go for it. I do feel like there is another stipulation that may not have been stated as loudly. Like it might be, find out what all the stipulations are and then go for it. I do feel like they, they will hold up their end as long as you hold up all of your stipulations ends. Okay. I do feel like it will be good though. Um, I don't feel like you should borrow the money to do that because the interest will end up. Oh no. no yeah. No. So if anybody no, else no, is thinking money. of that, but I feel no. like I'm, I'm no. sorry. I'm not going to borrow the money to do that. I'm going to use the money that's been sitting there. And I thought, wait, good. let me gain some money off of it. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like that's a really good idea. I do feel like it will work out, but make sure that you're aware of all of the stipulations, not only that time frame. I think there's one uh, other well, thing. Well, one of the stipulations, uh -huh. one of the stipulations is you leave the money in for three months without touching it. And uh, then that's when they will, um, so if I deposit the money tomorrow, uh, I would say three months from, um, I would say August, September, October, maybe November sometime, they would put the, the bonus in my account. Then um, that's that. Okay. Well, just that sounds like a good but plan. I, that, that's, that's the understanding that I got, you know. I think that's a good plan, and I think you should go with it. Okay, Maddie? Okay. Well, thank you, because I thought, wow, hope they don't try to hold up my money. Says, no, I just, what, why are they offering a bonus? Like, well, what are they, they going to do with the money? Like, well, I don't well, know what usually, they do without it. Love, usually when they do things like that, they're trying to get new accounts, people to open up new accounts with new money. They're trying to bring people in and start new accounts. So as long as you can transfer that money from one account to open a new account, I would go for it. But again, I'm hearing there might be a stipulation you might not be aware of. So make sure you know all the stipulations before you decide to do that. Okay, sweetie? Um, I'm going to take one question. Um, uh, <laughs> so Angelica is saying I'm funny and I've been making her laugh through the show. Thank you. I aim to be funny. I think I'm funny. I make myself laugh all day long. Like seriously, I do. Um, Diana Perez, 
Tony, the other day, I hear a whisper in my right ear. I was home alone. I got a bit scared, but I'm not sure what it is. You have any idea? Okay, it was... It was not something ominous, although I say if you hear it outside of your ear, it's not good. I've heard my mom since my mom has passed. I've heard her scream at me, you know, like when I was a child, like screaming at me, screaming my name. And that was real. So and that was not a thought in my head. That was definitely like waking me out of my sleep, screaming at me. Um, I feel like it was. It was actually, Diana, it was somebody who wanted to get you out of your thoughts. Like, you know how sometimes we're doing something and we're just letting thoughts go and go and go and go and go. It was actually somebody trying to get you out of your thoughts in your head, like to break that thought chain, to break that thought. That's what I'm hearing. Now, if it was something different than that, I apologize. But here's what I'm going to do for everybody listening, re-listening. Um, watching, re-watching. Our homes are clear. Our homes are unclear. All that is with us is pure true and of God. I'm going to clear that to a yes. All of that should clear all of our homes, all of our, we are clear, we are unclear. Let's clear that to a solid, the answer it's supposed to be. And let's um, also do, our home is filled with life. Um, our homes are filled with a light and love and angelic and God energy. Let's clear that to a yes. Who I like the way this feels. If you guys are feeling it, give me a give me a sign. Show me you like what you're feeling here because this is pretty powerful. Okay, I'm going to go to the next color. And the next color, I need you to know, I only have like two minutes, but I'm going to go go and take you. So please give me a really quick yes no question. 203, what's your yes, no question? Oh, 203 said, nope, I'm not doing a yes, no question. They're already gone. <laughs> okay, 773, give me a yes, no question as quick as you can. Hey there, how are you? Um, good. Do you see a move in my future? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Do you see a move in my future? A move. Uh, do I see a move in your future? Yeah, a move. Uh, not in the immediate, immediate future. How soon are you thinking of moving? Oh, I'm, I'm just giving you a yes, no question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, what would your question have been had I not said that? <laughs> hey, it's, 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 I... I had a friend who passed recently. I'm just wondering if he's around. What's his Sean. first? What's his first name? Sean. 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 Okay, Sean. Where are you here? Okay, the first thing Sean is doing is singing a song, and it's that song. Um. Oh, take the long way home. Take the long way home. Life <laughs> is winning. Da, na, 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 na. And if you think that I, people, I don't even, I can't even think of the words to this song. He's trying to give me the words. So if you think I like singing mm -hmm. stuff, that's definitely from Sean. And then the next thing Sean wants to say is, thank you for, for everything. You were a better friend than he realized when he was here. Like once he got home and he could look back at everything, he realized all the, um, all the love, like you gave him love. He couldn't even, seconds. he couldn't even feel for himself. So thank you for being such a good friend. Um, he wants to say to you, Aww. he's still singing that song. Um, take the long way home. Uh, so please listen to that song because there are so many messages in that song for you. And he loves you. And I'm talking really fast because he knows it's coming to a close. And he says, mm -hmm. please know how grateful and how much he appreciates everything that you did for him. And he is with you. Um, he's going to be with you all the time and moving forward. Uh, w when you're driving and songs come on in the radio, it's going to be him giving you messages. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's it. That's all I got from him. Cool. <laughs> that's all I've got from him. Sweetie, thank I you. you. That's perfect. I'll listen. 
Thank you so much for calling in. I want to remind everybody I'm going to be on tomorrow night with Marla at 8 p.m. Um, thank you, everybody who liked the show. And thank you, everybody who joined me here. Um, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you.